because the roller can move it around if it's not taped down. So you just need a piece of tape at every corner. That's all you need. Now I've done my first print already with my brownish color. Remember your browns, try to mix it with red, yellow, and blue. It's really tricky trying to get a good brown, but do your best. So now what I want to do is I want to cut out of my linoleum what I want to stay brown. So everything here you see, I've cut out the building because I want that part to stay brown and everything else I print on it will change color. Now I want to save blue for the last color because if I print green now, then what's going to happen, I want to do that now because it'll put green here, then blue specks will be in the grass. So it's better to have little bits of blue in the grass than to have little bits of green in the sky. Now it's hard to see that until you actually do it, but trust me, if you're doing grass or sky, you want to print the grass green first, and then the very last print you want to do blue. So to print, print the blue, I want to use the blue here. Now it can be a little oily at the top here, so you can mix it just a little bit. And generally for a nice green for the grass, you want to use more yellow than blue. But mix whichever you need. So there you go. Now I take my roller and I'm going to roll it together now. And you want to mix it all around, lift it up, smear it all around. You don't need to cover the whole paper here, just a small area here. Try to mix it up really well. Now this looks a little bit light, so I can add just a little bit blue. It still is good to add more yellow than blue at the beginning. Okay, mix it in here. Now do we want the ink to be thick or thin on our roller? You can tell me. Thin. thin. So right now, it doesn't matter, I need to have it thick to mix it up here. Turn it around. And that's pretty good. Now what I do is I press down really hard and you're squeegeeing up to the top here, I think. And then I roll and lift, roll and lift. It's best to lift it up as you're rolling it to get an even coating here. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I take my linoleum and I'm going to cover it. Now the first time you coat is very important. Keep rolling on here, you don't want it too thick, but make sure that you get everything. Make sure you get the edges. I'll wipe this area of the sun. That looks pretty good. Now remember where you placed it down the first time. Remember you chose a corner that you're going to line it up with. This is my corner. So I'm going to line it up. Standing up while I'm doing this, pressing it down. Grab another roller. Now for this here, I want to hold down so it doesn't slide around. And I want to press hard. If you don't press hard, it's not going to transfer very well. And you're going to have lots of white specks on your print. So just rolling it around over and over again doesn't help. Just pressing once very hard should work. And if you've lined it up very well, yeah, it's not going to be perfect. See a little bit of brown areas here. That's okay. But I have a green door and my windows and my building are the same. Let me see. There we go. Cool. So, now I do it again here. You don't need as much ink this time, but you still want to cover it each time you go here. That's good. And I do it again. Hi, Connie. On the corner. Standing up. When you're printing, you should be standing up, not sitting. Press down hard. And I hold the other side. I lift it up. Now that one turned out much better. It's lined up. So this is why I do several of them. Now if these little spots that show up, that's okay. Since mine's a snow picture, a little bit of snow on there, it adds to it. Now, once you have two of these, you want to put them on the drying rack because if you lay them on your table, you don't have enough space and they have a chance for getting stuff on top of them and getting ruined. Now once you're done, 
and you do all eight of these, you wash this off, you dry it off, and you cut out what I want to stay green. So what do I want to stay green on here? Grass. The grass, which is on the bottom part here. Then you rinse the rollers off, stick them in the yellow container there, clean up your table, and then you can free draw the rest of the class if you are done cutting this out, or you can help other people. Any questions? Everyone needs to start printing. You need to be printing in 40 minutes, 20 till, is when you need to start. Let's go.